It's Cleaver time! Overall, Doom just feels like a very slow hero. You have one move, you have Nagasai who... Multiple times, but he's still doing better in terms of net worth. Yeah, it's fine for him. Have you ever had any crazy haircuts in the past? Oh, Anchorman? Takes a little damage. Also, dear lord, he's taking a lot of damage, actually. And he will be going down. Warwick gets top lane. He's taking some damage as well. And they're chasing him down with the shell. So let's see if Happy can get himself out. Getting himself into the cogs with two enemies who have a shell on them. That's not something you want to... Can't really say a lot about haircuts. I don't know much about those. Alright, so yeah. Well, I, 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 I like to talk about my hair test, but it's amazing. But a lot of it goes down to a happy on, on the. Oh, here we go. This might be an attempt. Yeah, well, Kami immediately runs to uh, towards Happy, and yeah, that's you not know, getting out of that one, or or is he actually turns around to fight because he knows he's taken down, so just wants to do as much damage as possible, but that just gives the confidence to Happy to stay there for a little bit longer, and that might mean it's gonna be two heroes dying on the uh, top lane. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Cloud is getting low, but you cannot kill him. He's coming forward, and he's gonna be burning. It's pretty cool. But yeah, we, we just saw they were able to get a couple of levels on the Iron Shell, and suddenly if you get close to the Channel Feed, he does not have the health to stay alive because two million heroes going next to it, is he? And yeah, he is, and he's just spot him out. I don't have last on there, but he's still angry at Oh god, this is a tough situation. I mean, he's got no more remnants. Doom, it doesn't come out. He gets us out to the high ground just in time. He didn't lift up his arm, but no remnants, as you mentioned. It's good that we didn't use the Doom because we wanted that. Actually, with the Tiny coming over, he cannot continue the chase. Not enough damage on Hydra, and Aincraft gets out of that one alive. Sticky situation. Now the Naga Siren comes over, and it seems like Cloud will finally be taken down, especially there with a slide of fist coming through, and they want more. Aincraft has found an arcade. We want a tether. Not going to be happening. Breaking up that relationship. Guilt. Thing, but so then it's like, oh man, this was boring, but I kind of miss seeing it. Oh, mid lane. Avalanche gonna be used, and let's see, the Wisp is going for relocate out, it's not enough, he's gonna put up a wall that they won't even need to go into, and Afterlife will get burned down, and with the SF letting it go there, it's gonna be Gilgir that falls through as well, the A Blast, it's keeping them low, and it's gonna be Aincrad that gets the kill, Remnant in, Remnant out, secures it. They might want to use the A Blast if they want the kill, but even then, if he's back to the base, he does leave a remnant, though I don't think he's gonna be coming back to that one. Dyer's middle tower has failed. Such well placed box. I don't think it saves his life anyways, but it was just nice on the top lane. Warwick, I don't think he's aware. The pings are coming through, and they're coming for him. They want the kill, and they're most likely gonna be getting it. He's not moving an inch. The, the hairdo, he looks a little bit like Goku, so it's nice that his name is coming, but let's see if you're actually gonna be a god there. And he's gonna go for the ulti. I see the Naga Siren can save her, but he's not going for a sleep. Just but the wacky wall is still not enough because they don't have the damage without the Ember. They're helpless. And in the back line, the Clockwork is going for Phantom. And Phantom is starting his break because you're surrounded. Like, what the hell? There was only one of you just a second ago. But you went to sleep. Some of them go for Orchid and things like that. He's like, no, nope, this is the, this is so cool. Oh, here we go. Okay, has been used. It is the Ember, but he has been surged up, so he'll easily get himself away. Kami is standing his ground, A Blast hasn't been used just yet. And the SF does have his BKB, so he's not really a target. That's a Doom used, and you get nothing out of it. Oh, Kami! Wow, he needs to be tossed in. Now he's gonna go for a BKB ulti, and you need to run. You need to run right now, because he has been clipped by A Blast, so he cannot heal. The wind doesn't help you all that much, and he's gonna relocate him out. He understands the dangers in the end. It is the clockwork that will be left for dead. But that's still a huge move for Wobble. Yes, they only got the uh, position 5 support, but I mean, they're gonna get the eye right after this, so that's a little unfortunate for him. Get the, the tether off, but not enough to actually jump to peace. But he's getting better and better at it. Um, over over yes. time when it comes to the decisions it's always on point it's awkward yeah. wanted to steal the Aegis and now in the end he's just gonna be giving his life away again hearts of Nagus same 2015 really was the golden age of Dota DAC oh, yes. you know uh, then after that we would have all those uh, big majors I'm jumping oh, he found all of them this is not a great start to fight for Hydra but he just turned around 
and they found the Dark Seer. Okay, now it turns out to be an amazing fight for them. And they brought down two courts. One of them, of course, did have the Aegis, but the Ember is going to be pushed back. He needs to get himself out of this one. Misses the chase. And because of it, he will not get a kill. And he might pay with his life. He's going to go to the side left, right, but not really. Get, doesn't really get himself away from the enemy. I have a question. What if we take the extra break? Oh, here we go. Who cares? Fight begins. Oh no, but he cares. Cloud pops the BKB and Gil here. Well, he gives his life away for a uh, for a BKB charge on the Doom. Is it worth it? They get the last ult of the ever. Look at the damage with the BKB and an ulti. Kami just does not care about the Naga Siren song. The Munkushi oh. doesn't even want to use it. Becomes scary Munkushi. He has found the clockwork hook shot. He misses it somehow, and for some reason he used it. Oh, he's wrong on that one. It seems like it. <laughs> that is pretty fun. So they did find out that there was what's happening. Of course, the sleep is there to allow one move the uh, time to uh, get it over with. Kami is getting towards his uh, butterfly. And they're coming in, and he can steal it. Warwick has got on it, and now the cloud is there. This is a disaster. Start to the fight. They're going to get the last one. And look at Kami. He's going to let it go, and everyone is afraid, and you should be, because Savage is going to be saying, I'm a lot strong. It's a wall. This is gonna be enough to change anything. No, Kami gets himself away from the wall, cleans out the illusions, and everyone survives. Instead, in the end, though, they do lose the IO. Okay, even if he doesn't steal the Aegis, do you get out of there alive with one move? Yep. Well, he says, no, I don't want to be getting out of anywhere alive, and he's just gonna be taken down. Let's see, maybe Clocker will be uh, brought down as well. No, A Blast has been used, so the Wisp will be able to heal him up, and they're coming for more. BKB will be used. You're not worthy of a lasso, though he doesn't even have it. The war. Ultimate two of his skills is like support skills that aren't doing so well. But we have a fight here. I'm gonna ask you for your opinion about what you think about it. Oh my god! Did you just get two shot? Yeah. Kushi in a lot of trouble. He is gonna be doomed or Cloud dooms himself, but he's on top of the Naga Siren. We're gonna be hearing that doom sound so many times. If he gets away from her, not gonna be happening. We're gonna hear it on the. It feels over. Uh, this oh, look at him. He just jumps on the. Oh, Lord. I think I'm gonna lose his life now. Dude, Cloud is just styling on them right now. The cool and the hero has potential. So that, that's kind of the the answer I was looking for, though. Uh, yeah, for a, a just two shot, and Kami easily claims the kill. Radiant structures. Right. So what? You want to tell me how like how attractive Warp is? Radiant structures. I think she's pretty. Oh, like how that would be. Yeah, but, uh, I was I, I'm not even gonna uh, honor that with a response, but Hydra, well, they want to uh, go into game number two as the victors of uh, game one here, and it seems like they're gonna be successful at that. Nice. Oh, Avalanche and the Vacuum, they're going for him, but they're going into BKBs, and with the Requiem, they're just gonna be running away from a spot they just jumped into. So Kami's gonna take that one easily. He doesn't have the Aegis, the Roche is still dead, so uh, they have to run away, Hydra, but they did get two laser racks, and now with the buyback, it is gonna be a chase for one move they're trying to fight cloud uses doom on himself so it's not easy to go for it but they can still kill him because he's super low and cloud will be cut down the supports of hydra did buy back because they don't want their hero to just get taken down that lasso onto the ember it's not gonna be enough to save his life actually he's surviving on the bat and he'll get himself away in the end avalanche toss the clockwork will be going down that's a dieback for one of the supports of hydra but they get two of their cores out actually kami turns around then let's go let's fight there's so many losers and he has to deal with it with Cloud coming back to life. He has so much money that he can just buy himself back into the game. Miss Naga Siren isn't dying all that fast. The SF needs to do some more damage. Not gonna be enough. And Cloud, he bought back. It'll be really bad if he yes. dies. And he probably will. He can blink away. No, not gonna be happening through the Radiance. You will be taken down. Tommy now standing his ground. There is no AA. So the Wisp will be healing him. He has been rooted. But he can stand his ground and just fight. Going forward, Mukushi has been sped up. But you need to use it to get away, not get in. And they will give their life away for Munkushi to live. But for how long? Gets himself into the basin, will be fine. Dude, Munkushi has got balls of steel. Like, the amount of times he goes back in, I'm thinking, dude, you have, like, a thousand health. And you have against a shower feed who can destroy you. And he's like, no, I'll go back in. Uh, does cost for this team in the middle of an awful spot. But does bring down Cloud and toss it in and give himself some time. He's going for more. Kami, that's ever say anything. Hey, what's your 
Storm dealing at all. Kami is gone. Relocate a little bit too late, my friend. You're gonna be leaving your buddy to die because this has been a no, never ending me, fight. Man. But in the end, one move okay. still in the game. Nice. If this time around it's gonna be happening again, he does have an arcade room. And gonna be dropping down the flame breaks. So think about going in. Gilgir protecting this one. They did use the song. There's the BKB. He knows. He knows the hook shot. It doesn't connect. Oh, there's so many units in Highcraft. He's gonna be getting the Angus, and that means that Warner goes down without the BKB. is helpless. The chase is on. Let's go for more people. Take them all down. Highcraft. They don't have to lead any longer. It is being cut. Yeah, a bit of a uh, easier for one side. We'll see, we'll see, oh, and we immediately they go for Kami to all the south. Oh, he actually puts it in place. Hey, Blast is not going to be connecting. Kami actually, if it's flipping, so he cannot heal. He has to go for Yulti Cloud in the back line. He has doomed all of them. You want to be close to each other, not a smart move. And it's not of the ever, which means that when he's back in life, he's still going to be doomed. His team is coming to help him, but he needs the surge. He needs to be able to run away. Still the Lotus Sword is on him. Cloud needs to go for the refresher, so he can definitely continue going for this one. They're just going all of them into the doom. But where is Kami? You need their SF because their damage is just not sufficient. Running into a doom. That's not a smart move to make for the vacuum. They don't have the wall to keep it in place. Hydra, they're getting low. Their SF, though, without the A blast is not easy. Want to kill, but Gilgir says, Who is the easy to kill? This guy, take it down. Take all of our souls back. And one move, they are now the ones pushing the base. They are the ones that had three buybacks are lacking. I think you've been losing the game for the entirety of it. So 40 minutes in, when you win the fight, it is a question if you can end it. But one move, they're going for it. Automo, can they make it? Actually, with the uh, lasso coming through, but immediately there's going to be an end. The Agonist Scepter on the Lucy is not going to allow the drag to come out. But they do kill the tiny. 70 seconds on the side. Oh, 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 the three of them. Kami needs to go for the ulti. There's no BKB. This is a problem. It's very hard to play against an SF without a BKB. I'm crying out for but he has been cut down. He just bought back earlier. Kami doesn't have a buyback, but he doesn't need one because he's the strongest out there. Buyback from the Naga. They think that this is their time to shine. Their time to push. Oh, it's not good enough for the for the for the Ember to spirit though. Like they they actually give it. Oh, here we go. They're going in. Vacuum is gonna be used. The Kami immediately goes for a BKB, which means he's not gonna have it. Doesn't have the refreshers though. The tiny is already dead. That jump from his is just not gonna be good enough. Doom is still on him, and Cloud is keeping himself safe. Finally, the glyph is out, but there backdoor. is the backdoor protection. It is protecting their their life in this game. Number one, one move are still not out. Oh god. Oh, I have a headache. I can't imagine how the two feel like Gilgit just have buyback by the so this pathway. Oh, looks like we might be losing the AA though. I'm sorry, the uh, IO. Poor guy. So many times in this game has one move, they're gonna have to react. Happy. Boss requires no target, dude. Jumps in inside of the box. But they're gonna be losing the uh, clock. Immediately, immediately, he does buy back. And Gilgit can go for the same option as well. The wall was placed. Uh, one move, they need to use that wall positioning to move away, and exactly what they do. All right, one move, they didn't, they didn't use the buyback on Guilty, but Hydra, but Hydra did, so if you kill a Happy, you will have an advantage, but oh dear, they do lose the Aether. I, like I feel like it's wood, honestly. But I don't think it was the moving A on this. I'm, my biggest problem is that can he actually just use the scepter and use it while he's doing this? That's the biggest issue. Oh, here we go. Coming in. Austin, he has to go for the Requiem. And he's back up to full. Doom was used. Cloud only onto the illusion. And really, Gucci is coming over. Cloud needs to run away. He's going through a wall. That's not great. The refresher was used. And Kami's going to be using it there, but only onto the BKB target. So Anchor will be fine. He's trying to kill the wind, but will be successful at doing so. That's going to be the first casualty for Hydra. Immediate buyback on the A. Immediate buyback on the two death heroes of Hydra. And they found Hydra. He's definitely doing it. Look at the vacuum. Off to the hill. And oh no, he's moving the hill. What the hell are we going to do? The thing that with the overseal thought he gets himself to the low ground, but he's so low. And Mukushi is doing the damage. The normal punch doesn't cancel the TP there. Warwick needs to get himself away and the sleep. No, I don't want to listen to it. Cover your ears, Warwick, if you want to live. And that's exactly what he's doing, but he's burning the ground so they know where he's running to. He needs to blink away just in time. We'll be safe. I'm such a fan of this guy right now. Amazing with the docks here so far. What a day, all of the games coming at this point of the game, they really don't matter much. There is no gold lead, 57 minutes in, but one move seem to be the ones in control. Cloud has to be careful. Oh, you what are you doing? Okay, he is fine for now. That was a bit scary. He was almost walked into his death. And uh, they're like, hey, is there any way to deal with Mangushi here? It doesn't seem like uh, Hydra knows how to bring him down yet. He is 
definitely had. He definitely has all of the items. Might be jumping pressure to put in the backpack. Jump in. There is going to be wall being used. Lotus over there. Cloud has jumped in. He has to be careful. We talked about the physical damage of Magusha. It's over. Oh, yes. He has this. It's going to keep him alive for a little bit longer. He goes through the pressure. He has another BKB and the ulti. If he wants to go for it, Dying Crash. He has the Aegis. So even if he dies, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Charging up a second. Grab two and not going to be enough. And the BKB doesn't save you from the net. They're going to be taking two of them down. And Cloud is going to use the second one into the back. Lines. What's happening there? Kami trying to do something, but he's around and he's only losing it, smacking his head and bringing victory to one who is doing his best to survive. That's not gonna be happening. Kami, you're gonna have to accept death on do I? I am the strongest, standing his ground. The rubble to my face is not gonna be enough. Look at how much he heals. Relocate out. No, just leave me there. I'm gonna kill them all, but without the wisp helping him. Just not all that powerful. He does buy back immediately, and the buybacks will one move. They will end this one right here right now. Aincrad has to be very careful. Yes, that arm truck killer, he says, I'm getting much more than that. Mabucci, of course, is going to be stealing that one because he doesn't want his teammates to be super strong and to feel super confident. That's a dieback on Aincrad. Hydra, they have two of their heroes, but Kami is one of them, and he is a hell of a beast. The, I think they could, they could have actually killed, uh, but they thought he was going to die anyway, so they kind of put their focus on someone else, and Kami was able to make it that. Like, what a comeback. What a comeback with both and I on But can he actually do this? It's three on versus two Kami. Can he do it? He needed to kill his own illusion, and he does that first, but there's going to be another SF illusion. This one with a normal punch. Kami has to run away. I can't fight all of them on my own. I need some help. And there is no one to assist him. Unkushi, look at how many of the Nagas are taking down your thrown Kami. You go in there now. He's going to be using their cable link and the BKB, but Munkushi doesn't care. He's going for the throw. The losers don't do that much. That they might do it up, and they're going to call GG because they know it's so one move. Have won in 59 minutes and 28 seconds. No tier 5 items for us. Abyssal at least. Pangolin, maybe with the blink dagger roll and you can't... Oh, is that a that Fango with the science? No, he survives through it in the end. That's gonna be not even our first blood because one real shit on Fango as early as you can, because it's again this hero peaks in the mid game and mid game is still a threat, but the most dangerous that sort of that you know, To Dota considering the uh, heroes of New Earth is no more. Yeah, well, you know, this time around there is a centaur, so TP is obviously not gonna work. He's yep, and uh, no, he's getting himself into the trees now. He won't be surviving that one. Happy, I think he didn't have any more hits left in him, and the brood was out. Okay, you're a little bit too deep, but of course with the coil, he's gonna be keeping the fango away. Is that gonna be enough for him to survive? No, it's not. He does use the orb, but not having the same performance that we saw in game, in game one, where it feels like he was just always calm. The guy was able to get the giant steals with uh, on, on the shot, but this game. Yeah, you manhood that a beautiful yeah. lady is alive? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what kind of manhood we're talking about here, but Warwick in the mid lane, he's going to be putting down the leash onto the uh, Rubik and, of course, onto the Pango, but with the uh, Crystal Maiden being there, there would equalize and would be no more. It's smoke onto smoke action, and the smoke is going to break the S1 buckles already used. That's a stolen coil, but I don't think anyone cares about that one. Uh, you need to finish off the Pango, and in the end, they will. He gets himself out of the Roche. <gasps> Uh, he, uh, he hates this puck, and the uh, brood is gonna be caught, and that is a very dead brood as well in the bottom lane. After that makes sense. Oh, uh, the overlord. Uh, well, Spantamon, is that an easy hero to kill? Yeah, it looks very, very easy, you know, inside of the river. Not gonna be cooling off. Oh, it's worried, though, in a very uncomfortable position. That cookie, will that be enough to save his life? No. What? what? You mean the Revenant's yeah. brood? That's the one. Thank you. I was like, I, I, okay, I've never seen this item purchase. I don't care about that. That's the scariest thing, but you still need a decent spot. Oh, here we go. Hey, he can do it. Oh, uh, he can do it still, so that's nice. He just removes the uh, goal. What was stolen is going to be a dark pack being stolen from Kami. Uh, he still has his ulti. He has to be very careful. He's going to be fed a cookie, and Kami pops the ulti there. A little bit of a panic. He didn't really have to do it. Jumps in with the uh, pounce, and yeah, well, you uh, got rid of the uh, ulti of the puck. The question is, can he get rid of Kami's spawns? They did find that he gets himself away in time. Kami doesn't have his ult. He's gonna have it in 30 seconds. Thinking about re-engaging. It is still nighttime, so he sees so well. He is accustomed to the dark, but you're gonna be in the dark for a very long time because he's major. Um, all right. Oh, looks like Warwick. That's it. It's out. No more ages. Uh -huh. A little bit too deep. Kyogre does have the silence, but it's not gonna have it any longer. The roar that's come out and with the right click. They should have enough to kill Aincrest to the side. Swatch buckle. Not gonna be enough. He has no chance. 
Tommy going in, now he has an OP, so even if he goes deep, he can uh, get himself out, jump in onto the enchantress again, this time they get a kill, Sans on the near side, he has the ulti, gets onto the high ground, immediately pops it, Kami, they're a bit too deep, but with the ulti, he'll be able to be happy, or will they, Swashbuckle, he's still surviving, he will be giving his ulti away to the Rubik, and that is... Uh, Kami goes in, notices his ultimate's off, immediately jumps back in, oh, here we go, smoke break. Uh -huh. It was a smoke of smoke, they saw them on the Hawks, so they knew that they were coming a look at the side. Shaman doing so much damage to Aincrad. His, uh, his 600 HP got to be using this time a bit more, and they found the Beastmaster. No roar for you. They're going to shut his mouth for good, and now they're going for more happy things. He's escaping, but he's going to have to think again. One move. They got a triple kill on Monkushi. His back. Of course, the one who needs it all. Completely ruined. But he got bleeding it all. Kami, yeah, he has a DD, and that means that his weapon is very strong. Sharp. And he will be able to take down Gilgir. Now also the coil will be used immediately broken. Phantom, he wants to stand his ground and go against the party, but this hero has enough attack speed. Untouchable, my ass. He's gonna be killing Phantom on the other part of the fight. Don Mukushi is gonna be killing Lapid and immediately buys back once to go onto the outpost and rejoin the fight. But before he comes over, Happy's gonna be taking down no Mukushi. He actually just TPs away before Happy falls. He's not gonna be getting that kill and he is gonna leave his teammates to die because he knows what's important in the end. Happy will be going down, but body has a big me. Can't me. Oh, he broke their smoke and he saw them exactly. So, uh, I dropped. Oh, he has to roll away. Actually, go no, to the grandma. They kill him. That's no buyback. 70 seconds on the sidelines, and the supports are gone. This is gonna be second row dying. It's good for the side of Hydra. And the Ursa already bought a shard. Phantomum has a shard, so little friends are now part of the equation. So that that is a lot of damage that can be done. To be honest, oh, slug, he got stunned up, but he has the depth shot. He has his ulti. He's gonna be completely fine. He turns around with the ulti, starts finding the earth but he can't do much. He tries to bounce away, lift it up into the air, and now he's gonna be taken down. He's a fish boy. He's out of his own territory, and it doesn't matter whether or not you're dead. But still, Warwick is left alive, and he just goes in, gets a double kill. The buyback comes off from the start. He wants to fight. He wants to get the Aegis for himself, and with the Bambi, they are gonna be going for this. This one feeding the cookie on the cloud, but he wants he wants some deer meat here. It seems like that's not gonna be happening, but the slark comes over to cut her into chops. Four staff onto the high ground. Phantom him could go for a TP out, but he decides against it. He's creating space for his teammates to come back and defend the Roche. What are you doing, Hydra? You need to take that Roche. Now he's TPing away. No way it's gonna be happening. No, he finally on the slark as well. So I have all of their items. I got he goes for the rolling thunder. He has found a good opening. And now who goes to the Beastmaster, you kill him. That's a good way to start the fight, but he gets the BKB on. It's gonna be rolling the bang, uh, roaring the bangle. He's gonna stay in play. But look at he's blocking the path with his roar. Mukushi needs help. Kaskami is coming for he has the BKB. He's gonna fight you till death, but your own not hit. Now turning on to the enchantress inside of the freezing field. He's not gonna be moving an inch, especially not having a four staff trying to save his Ursa. They will lose two kills on Hydra as well. So not the worst thing in the world. Kindrad, oh now it's gonna be turning out a good fight. He's here on Kami and yeah, the, the other kids come out to hit him. It's, uh, it's a nice tickle for sure. Uh, yeah, doesn't care. You go up against me now, you die. Traitors, Kami though, he's gonna be bashed up. He's gonna be fine. The cooking was better him, so that means that the death shot will not be protecting him, but he needs no protection. He has an Aegis and also a perfect bounce to the left. Oh, he's not gonna be followed by spiders. He's not gonna be healing up just yet. Now he goes for the uh, death shot, heals himself up just slightly. But it's still gonna be more than enough to survive. One move, they finally buy back on the moving. There's gonna be a lift onto the Crystal Maiden. At least they can kill someone. But going for more, it's gonna be a lot harder. Slark is gonna have his ulti in 10 seconds. But with the Mortimer's Kisses, it is gonna be enough to create Spang. Follow me. And he's leading Hydra into victory onto the enemy high ground. Your triangle, no, it is mine. Kami goes in. It's gonna be extra. That is a mistake. It's gonna be stunned up as well. He needs help. He needs help now. And he's gonna be getting exactly that pump. The BKB he doesn't even need his ulti. He's just going to go. he's gonna be popping the ulti. They've lost the Rubik. And now, running onto Mukuchi, who thinks he can escape, but you are so wrong. A lot of stacks on the start. He has to be very careful, but he still has two ultis. I don't have one. I'm not like the Ursa. And that's gonna be the Ursa dead as well. One move they're missing two heroes none of which have buyback sign wants to go for a tp out he will be successful so one move 
Yeah, but this is kind of too tough. They don't have a glimpse. They don't have a way to slow this one down. God, he just jumps in. This is not your base any longer. It belongs to Hydra. Now, they're not getting the racks. It's not actually the Beastmaster. He is playing objective gaming. Considering he is the fastest pusher, he's going to be able to take him down. That's Mega Creeps in one move. They waste no time. They call GG. We're going to a game three. Makes sense. At this point, it's just looking... Too, like it's too much. Mabushi, I feel like he's getting he's scared of me. So say, no, nah, I didn't believe in them. Uh, I do like the Spectre pick. I hope it's the Radiance build. Like, I do taking a lot of damage here. He's being slowed up a lot as well. Yeah, he is dropping low. And this could be our first blood. I mean, it's going to be a first blood as well. And for the last time, I mean... An idiot. See, that's how it works. Oh, dear God. And is he going to be okay? Doesn't look okay. Well, he has missed the kill for the last time. That's what we're getting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Mukushi is having the solid lane, though. A respected player will say, I want my other guys to have a good time. Warwick, uh, be careful, my friend, or you might die. And Kilgare is coming over. You talked about his rotations, and there it is. This time around, it is going to be Warwick. Dami just solo pushed out Afterlife out of lane. That's very weird. Kilgare will get the toss away. And Lepitan, and the Avalanche will be there, especially with the Hawk. Lepitan should be going down, and Mukushi just gets himself out of the cogs beautifully there with another usage of the uh, of the Hawk. Warwick will get pushed back. Mortimer Skisses flying through. Gilgir, can he uh, cancel that one? Yes, he can. And it's going to make sure that Phantom Emblem lives. Now, Happy is the one that gets put into a very bad spot. And, uh, you know, is going to be drowned in the river. Cloud gets himself onto the high ground. But now he's being chased up. And with four heroes on one move, he needs help. Grandma, she's very slow in her own page. But again, Lepitan is going to be coming for a save. Avalanche doesn't come in time. But the Lasso, that should be a kill. But uh, do you get out of this one? That is the question is gonna use the sticks and the hate through so yeah i'm getting out of it and i'm getting more and he's gonna melt the rock as well you need a lot of hits for that but he has it and they're going for more Mukushi has been caught he needs to get away the spectral dagger will be expiring but the ember on the other side Aincred, you also have to be careful because your mana is very low as the sticks has two more remnants it's gonna be fine warwick he's baiting him in come little boy come over here they're gonna trap him inside of the cause he has three sticking a bombs onto him and there's gonna be a fourth one but he kills the clock where he might even kill warwick as well we need to be very careful, especially with the help coming over. How much damage? Look at him, he's dying. He just came back to the world of the living. And with Avalanche, they're going to be keeping him in place. And Arnold's line of fist, Icarus moves away. But he knows he's coming for the kill. And there's going to be those things from my team. And he did that. So it looks like having my big to go right now. Uh, wind that moves trees, that hurricane, it blows. have the hunt as well, so he can show up for a nice killer to it. Oh, top lane. Why get the gate in here? It's water. Poor guy, he dies again. It's gonna be the cool actually gets himself away from the uh uh, two heroes, but they're just so mobile. Aincrad finishes him off. You want to go for more. They're going into the mid lane. On to the sniper. Kami gets taken down. Highest network does nothing against the might of Aincrad. Who's going for happy. And he's going to burn him down. Trees stand no chance against him. And guess what? Lefeton in trouble on the top lane as well. He's running in circles. But in the end, it's just going to be ran to his death. And it is going to be another one. One move are crushing it in the final game of the series. Dyer's middle tower. Warwick, he shows up top. Maybe he can get a kill here, but there's a guild game around to help his team out. Oh, the lasso comes out just in time. Afterlife, uh, he almost got out of that one, but it doesn't matter. The big boy is here to be beyond. Dyer's top tower. Touchable? Is that going to be enough to save him? He did have 21 charges. He didn't use them in the game, dying over and over again. He's going for more. And uh, looks like be, be, might be able to kill Happy and one hit. Oh, he's gonna have it. No, he's gonna use the remnant. Doesn't go for that one in the end. And now there's the hook shot. That's gonna be a big kill. And they can get an eye grab going in. And now with the overgrowth, give us all that money. They what a cool play on the uh, bottom lane four staff onto the enchanted centaur into a stun. I mean, they didn't really need it, but oh, actually, they might have needed more than that one to finish off Cloud. He's gonna die out of the chakra, but at a uh, cost of two of his teammates. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, well, Lefita needs to run because there's no one there to assist him. Work is in the vicinity. And if they give this kill to Mukushi, Einkratz, that didn't do enough. Also, Adius, a big item timing as well. Lefitan, uh he hates life, it seems yes. like. Though he's not playing in and dying, so it's not going to be, I hate life. You know, it's, it's, uh, that's not going to be something you can kill him. He does have a BKB, pops it there, and uh, will be more than fine. But he has to run away with the 9 second BKB, and even a cookie will be uh, need to be expended there. And I grant the DD wants to continue threatening, but overall he is... Uh, is not in any trouble to get a kill, but guess who is? Lepitan goes with the hook shots. Four staff, of course, is there. Might be enough for Phantom to survive. No, with the more risk, he's taking a lot of damage. He's dead, and now the Spectral ulti comes over there. Gotta start to clean up. You have to run. You have to run now. The only reason they're alive is because Aincrad, he doesn't have mana, but he does have the power to go forward. And look at Afterlife. Does this look like the guy that doesn't want to go forward? And the Gilgir, he has found there. Give us the sniper. He has silenced this. I've used the mask of madness, and you will die. Because you are mad. Someone is just gonna die. And Lefitan, yeah, he's, he's gonna die all the time because for some reason he's just going into enemy territory yeah. and offering him some fuck drama. So uh, Lefitan is mad at his teammates, though. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm being mad. I know that's gonna be saving him. Now they're going for Kami and they want to chase him down with an Arcade Rune and Aincrad. There's gonna be a slide of fist chains fairly soon. Kami does have a BKB that's gonna be forced out and Afterlife is more than capable of surviving. There's also, but it's not coming into the pit. So Hydra have no idea this is happening. Lefitan is continuing to make some question. Has the tranquils that are just simple. I don't, I don't get it. Oh God. There's the Spectre going in, and the Overdrive will be used after the surviving, and actually they bring down the Spectre once, but you need to do it again. They're gonna be losing the clockwork. Kid the Frozen does have a buyback. The Gig cannot get away. Kami pops the BKB. That's gonna be an 8 second one, and now with the Haunt, they see everything, but they can't go forward with a double support buyback. It's time for one move to run. Fires for the force with the power threads, and we can't have items on the clockwork. I, I, I'm not gonna say anything, but it's kinda nice. I don't know. Guild Gear, he might be losing his life as well. He's doing a lot of <laughs> Yeah, it feels like it. Well, Shadow Step was also around the last second, but that's what he still us. seems to want war. He does not have a BKB, but no man, so is he really one of the interested in fighting? Cookie does connect, Lefitan does come over, Assassin is gonna be used, but it seems like it's not enough to kill Phantom. And now the Haunt comes over and they see everyone. They see you clearly, but for how long? That's gonna be the question. Warwick is trying to kill someone, not gonna be happening. Rune of Defiance is gonna be fine. But look at the sniper, he's gonna be going on to Afterlife, shooting him in the face. They are literal robot, isn't gonna help you, or is it Afterlife? We haven't talked much about the Saganus of the, uh, the Timber. Um, that is a big damage item just a second though. They uh, found him with the sniper doing damage. I credit is fine. He just pops the BKB again, gets himself up, going in on Guild Gear. And uh, that is a very dead tiny. So Hydra, they're able to stand their ground. They're now going in with the hook shot. They want to, then they're going to be getting exactly that. Actually, Phantom and goes into the uh, Roach Pit, gets himself over the uh, cliff there immediately. The living armor on top with the supports trying to do their best to keep him alive. And he's having a decent time. Lefitan is going to have the Agnes Center. I am still baffled by why he does not assemble the track I, mean, I I don't get it. Yeah, he's trying to look shot away. No, the Illusion comes off and drops the time and they fall. Ooh, the sniper. The fourth step is there. The damage, the right clicks, it's insane. Munkushi, he does not know what's up with him in this game. He is 3 and 12. This feels like he's been. Look at that with the tip squad. He has not been putting his best moves forward. He's from Munkushi Gil here. He's giving him time as well. He's uh, looking very much dead here. A couple more hits. No, he gets into the trees. He's going to be fine. Happy plays as a war. He's going for him. Gil here. The lead seed will kill him in the end. But let's see if they can save their sniper, of course, with the gobble up, and they spit him out in a safe position. Beautifully done, and now come into us after life. You wanted to kill our sniper, but you're gonna be the one taking down. Speaking about Team Street, oh, after life is gonna give one to Hydra. And again, Lefferton inside of the cogs. He's the one that is trapped with the Spectre, not the other way around. But they're thinking about fighting the Spectre. He has to have an Aegis. Let's see, Mukushi is gonna die once quite easily. Kami, no more BKB. He has to stand his ground and fight Aincrad. Can you do this one alone? He's doing a lot of damage. The four staff, he has been rooted as well, and the Spectre is back to the world of the living, which means that everybody else dies. Triple Warwick, you're gonna be the fourth one. Where's my rampage? The first day of the Eastern European DPC, as with Munkushi getting himself a rampage. They allow him to get it. Cloud doesn't want it to happen, but in the end, there is nothing you can do about it. Where is it? Oh, top lane, Lefistin. 
Luigi shouldn't kill him with the, all of the trees being around. Yeah, that's I not did. gonna happen. You thought he uh, love you, just, just keep uh, talking about it, please. We're Thank having you. so much fun about it. Yeah, the Warwick isn't having much fun though, because Munkuchi just cuts away. How many seconds does the Spectre need to kill someone? 0. 0.5. How much does the Sniper need? 3 seconds. That's a big difference in Icra. This moment, you're gonna play the link as Icra pops the BKB, and no lasso will be coming out. Doesn't have the buyback going forward. The only buyback that Icra has is on the clockwork. Now looking a lot happy. He's gonna try to DP away, and unsuccessfully it will be, because he will lose his life for it. Now looking towards Cloud, they're gonna be chasing him down. The clock has also died, he's not buying back, and Cloud has given up. It seems like Hydra knows that this game it is over, and they will call it. I mean, it's been over for a long time. I gotta say, though, this was, you know, a lot of the games we were, this is a great game, so this is one of the weirder games.